So Andy here with Glue Tread again. Today we're going to be working on the sidewall of this combine tire. Um, as you can see here, we have a pretty long crack that goes up the sidewall of this tire. The tire is still holding air, um, but we're going to work on just putting a protective lay over that and keeping that, that portion from flexing. Um, the kit that we're using today is a sidewall seal kit. It's similar to the external patch kit that just provides a larger patch um, for larger damage like this. So in the kit, you'll get this four and a half by four inch piece of rubber, your instructions, uh, four pieces of sandpaper, and then also the bottle of adhesive. So the way we'll start this is uh, we'll start by by sanding this down. Um, you want to make sure that you want to make sure that this is pretty flat here, um, so you can have rubber rubber contact the whole way around. Um, so I'm gonna sand this down as best I can and just kind of get the rough edges off. So that's a pretty good start for now. If you have some kind of automatic sander or power, or power sander or something, you can use that. But this will uh, this will give us a good start for now. Um, as you can see, this piece is actually longer than the patch that we currently have. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and just cut this. Now it's really easy to cut. You can just take a pair of normal scissors, and we're just going to cut it right up the middle um, to uh, to to kind of join the patch together. So. So get this all the way through and I'll all right so that's cut now and you can see what we're gonna do here we'll have a top piece and a bottom piece we'll trim that again um, so it can fit you do want to make sure you have at least a quarter of an inch on the outside of either side of the damage um, we're gonna have way more than that here which will be really good to hold the tire for quite a while so um, I'm gonna start here with this top piece and the bottle of adhesive, you will have to take the applicator tip off and then um, cut the tip of the adhesive off just with a you know, normal pocket knife or something. So there's that. And then the applicator tip fits on there. So this, this process is slightly different than using an external patch kit. Instead of putting it on the patch, you're actually going to put it on the tire first and kind of roll it down. So I, ha I have a marker here that's for a tire for tire marking. You can use a Sharpie or something else as well, but you want to trace this so you know about where it's going to go, right? So we go here and just kind of come around that so I know about where I'm going to put that piece as I, as, I, as I apply the patch. So so you can see that here, that all fits inside. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up top and just put these drops of adhesive here along the top of where this is going to sit. Then I'll put this here, make sure it's lined up, hold it down, and then come back in and do another piece, and then hold that. You want to hold that for a few seconds between each, each, each application. So more drops here. You do want to make sure you do it in drops and not, not all just smeared it everywhere. The, the drops do make a difference in the in the patch staying on. Now, if this if this was not holding air, we'd have to do it a little differently. You'd have to make sure that the tire was deflated, and then you could bring this crease together and put adhesive down the crease as well. So now we're going to take the second piece. Now that we have that, this is the piece that I cut before. And we're going to fit it here so that it continues to go down. Um, take that tire marker, kind of mark here where about where you want that to cut off. As you can see, that's flush on the top, and then we'll be able to trim it right there. So that's cut off there, so you'll be above that. We want to make sure you're above that tire lettering so you can get good rubber to rubber contact. I'm just going to trim one more piece off here. Yeah, there you go. And then you'll just kind of repeat that same process with the, with the adhesive here. Oh, you do want to mark that again. Oh.
just hold that on there now. We generally like to let that cure for about an hour. Um, there is another option that we've come out with recently um, that product will be available shortly and that's an accelerator spray. You can also just spray that and it'll actually have the adhesive cure pretty much immediately. Um, if you're in a, a position where you're wanting this to hold air, you will want to check these corners beforehand before you spray it and make sure that there's nowhere the air can get out. You can come around the corner kind of with this adhesive here and and make sure that everything's tight, but with this just being a protective patch, it's not as crucial. Another thing you can do is you can sand down the corners of the patch just to reduce any friction that might come about when you're using the tire. Um, that's something we'll do off camera. You can do that by hand or with some other sort of power sander. Um, so yeah, that's just fixing a patch on the outside of the tire. Uh, thanks for t taking the time to watch, and uh, we'll be back later with some more videos. Thank you.